How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to review this Highwild AR500 target system. And maybe I'll pop in a picture you can see exactly what it is. And I'll put a link below to this exact set of steel targets. It's a 6 inch gong and then it comes with a 7 by 12 inch torso. And it's 3 8 inch thick AR500 steel is what they're advertised it as. We're going to open it up, show you exactly what it comes with if you buy this. So the two sets of chains. Yeah, that's right. One for each uh, steel plate. I mean, it weighs what you'd think. It is 3 eighths inch. I don't see any marking. There's a 6 inch. This 3 eighths inch is actually rated to be shot even with 223. So let's go ahead, maybe on this guy, we'll go ahead and hit it with some 223. Heck, we'll even pull out the 308 and really hammer it because you're supposed to be able to shoot this stuff at 100 yards with 223 or 308. What we're looking for is, is it gonna make all these divots? You know, is the steel actually quality? So the frame though, you're not supposed to shoot this. This is rated for nothing. I mean, this thing is just, it's nothing. I mean, here's a pole. I don't know if this gives you any idea of its thickness, but yeah, we're going to shoot it anyway, but here's the final product and I'm standing. So it's kind of low to the ground. Um, you'll be shooting down a little bit, but that's, that's the whole setup. It all comes with, it's easy to put it together. Honestly, these brackets were already on the legs just snap in and then you just bolt the chain onto the frame and onto the steel. I mean, I guess I give it points for price. It's a decent price, comes with everything, easy to put together. But the real test is how do these steel hold up? Is it worth it to get these? Um, so yeah, let's go hammer on them. All right, so first test, we're gonna be at about 25 yards. And I'm gonna go ahead with this 115 grain. This is Syntec. So it's a jacketed round, but it's like this hardened plastic. Uh, give you a look at it. So it's just like a normal, you know, like you'd have like full metal jacket and it's copper. This is just like a hardened polymer, hardened plastic. And we're looking at, at 25 yards, 1,082 feet per second. Um, and then we'll go ahead, I got this 147 grain, and that's just your standard full metal jacket. So it'll, be, it'll have the copper. Um, and what are we looking at here? 25 yards, 976 feet per second. So I don't see this having a problem. In fact, I think even quarter inch steel will be able to handle either of these. I mean, pistol calipers in general. But um, yeah, let's see if it holds up. And then we'll head out to 100 yards, which is what it was rated for at 100 yards. You can do 223, 308 is what it said uh, in the description. So, and now for the copper jacketed. Get a closer look at the steel. Looks like all we knocked off was some paint. Um, in fact, it doesn't even look dimpled or anything. Okay, this is good. I mean, it's what you'd expect out of AR 500, 3 8 inch thick. Yeah, let me try to give you a better view on the angle. It's not, you know, indented or dimpled, um, which dimplings. A little bit is okay, but if you're getting like chipping or cracking, don't even shoot that steel anymore. Uh, we're looking good. Let's uh, go to 100 yards and s throw some 223 at it. All right, so now I got, uh, you know, tick vocal 556 AR, 16 inch barrel. It does have a compensator. We're gonna go ahead with this 223 Remington. Uh, what is this, like 3,000? Yeah, 2,900 feet per second. It's 55 grain, and this is a full metal jacket. 
This is kind of standard stuff you'd expect to shoot, be shooting at a range, I guess. Go ahead and load up a couple mags. Hit it with the 308. This is a 308 win uh, TC compass. And we're gonna use this 150 grain. I'll just show you a super hex power point. It's made for like hunting boar, deer. I guess probably take down an elk. On this 308, we're talking 2,820 feet per second. At 100 yards, 2,513 feet per second. Um, but I mean that's that's a lot of weight moving so let's see let's go for the little guy looks like that wrapped that one around the frame let's try and get that that seven inch one to flip around like that Broke it. Probably shouldn't shoot that anymore. The little guy. Shoot the frame. All right, well, here's the damage. I mean, look, you rated it for 308 at 100 yards. You can't use this setup, you know, whether it's the chain, the bolt, look, this bolt is about to fall off too. I mean, whatever it is, let's take a look at the steel. Yep, it is pitted. Uh, I wonder if you can see that. The more of those you have, that, so that's what's gonna send, you know, say another round hits exactly there. That's what's gonna send shrapnel back your way, potentially. <laughs> that looked like it seared off on his own, or like it got shot. <laughs> I don't know. I did try to hit the frame. Um, oh, hey, looks like I did. Bullet went through. Oh man, it went right through the back of the frame. It looks actually, you know, not as pitted. A little bit here on this guy. For sure, the hardware, oh, it looks like, you know what, I did shoot the chain there. Yeah, look at this bolt head. I hit that and, uh... So, at the end of the day, I didn't like the chains, and I didn't like the hardware with the chains. So, if you hit them, they break, and your steel target's here, and your chain's hooked to it. You're just gonna hit them eventually. Am I supposed to just carry a bunch of chains and hardware around and the wrenches to swap them out? No, so I'm coming up with a fix for that. In fact, if you wanna see what I end up doing with my range and the targets, you might as well subscribe because I'm gonna be shooting all kind of different targets in coming up videos. But for this high wind target setup, I'd say for pistol, go ahead and get it. Um, it's a good price. And I was having a blast shooting the Beretta at it until I pulled out the 308 and just destroyed everything. For rifle, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't buy this to shoot rifle. But for pistol, heck yeah, it was a blast. Uh, and the steel held up against the, my 9mm. So. so I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Neckbone out.